Capricorn is the soul and Capricorn is your week ahead. Energies are going to start May 11th and end May 17, 2020. Messages will be for uh, Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Capricorn Rising Sun. Capricorn, I hope all is well. I hope you guys are still, still staying strong, still staying positive. And also just a quick announcement here, uh, Capricorn. I do read all the comments. Uh, I would advise, well, I'm not advising you. I suggest no one, um, if you're going to leave a comment, do not leave any comments that are, um, you know, laced with uh, conspiracies and, um, you know, basically coming through um declaring that you know COVID-19 is just a hoax and a farce and it's just um you know all kinds of crazy stuff so I'm not going to uh entertain that type of energy here I will delete those comments and I hope it's not uh comments like that coming from any of my subscribers because uh, you know the person or the persons who write those things are going to be blocked okay so with that being said uh Capricorn uh, sit back and I hope you enjoy your right, Capricorn energies for Capricorn sun moon and Capricorn rising signs for the week of May 11th and ending May 17th 2020 there are some reversals here uh, Capricorn and I did forget to mention that I am using the modern uh, medieval medieval tarot deck to deliver your messages as well okay so let's see what's coming up for uh, my fellow Cappies Well, if anybody follows uh, Vedic astrology, I'm uh, <laughs> according to them, I'm a Capricorn ascendant. So, but it, when you read that, you know, because there's Western uh, astrology and there's Vedic astrology, I feel this is just me personally that Vedic is uh, more accurate than the Western. Um, so that's it's, it's bizarre. So I'm a Capricorn ascendant, and but my Moon and Sun are in Gemini still. So that's very interesting. And I looked at the traits of the Capricorn. And I do follow the, <laughs> the traits of the Capricorn more so than I do with the uh, sun sign of cancer on the western side. Anyway, shadow card energy for you. Um, Capricorn, if anybody was interested in Vedic astrology, you have to know that you could just Google a Vedic astrology uh, chart or calculator or whatever, but you have to know your time that you were born uh, for, you know, accuracy. We're going to start off with the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups here is about, uh, it's still my social interaction type of energy, so it could be that you're, you know, socializing, you know, with your family. The Cups do represent children for me on a small scale, okay? It could be in the support of your friends, your family, your extension family. It could be your romantic partners, and uh, it could be that you're married. Uh, Capricorn, and this Four of Cups will represent you and possibly your two children and your husband and wife and so forth. But I get the energy here in spite of, you know, whatever these creators do in terms of, um, you know, depiction. You know, the hand is there offering and she doesn't, the person sitting there doesn't want it. There's three cups before them. So it's an offering that she's refusing. I don't always pick up that energy. For me, it's the uh, enjoyment of sharing equally the energy of uh, whoever is important and significant in your life. Okay. And just, it's an emotional because the four of cups is still an emotionally good card. It's about that love and it's about whatever the energy you put out towards others. It's the number four, it's equal. So you're equally getting the, uh, the energy back in return. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces represents this four of cups. All right. So we're going to focus on your um, first card here, and that's the five of swords. So this is the energy of minor inner conflicts or external conflicts. So uh, Capricorn, it just depends on you to uh, figure out what is uh, conflicting you. It may not be as high as five stressors, but something uh, might be going on. So it might be just a progression of the things that you deal with or encounter during the week. Uh, again, but the five is the reference of uh, being on a small scale. So don't put too much worry or too much emphasis on it. Uh, the most important thing is identifying, you know, if you have current stressors or there's those stressors that come up along the way and then try your best to alleviate 
uh, whatever stress that is. Hopefully it's not coming in uh, from the external side and it's just you trying to uh, sort something out uh, within yourself or that's involving just you personally. OK, so five of swords is um, representative of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, and what crosses that in your immediate environment here is the ten of staffs. So, yes, being very, very busy, maybe you have uh, mental challenges, you know, because you got a lot of shit coming up or on your plate to take care of. This could be, you know, those energies involving just for yourself or it could be in connection with other people like your family, extended family. It could be involving your relationship. The Ten of Staffs or the Ten of Wands gives you that energy boost to do all of those things that may come up or, you know, that are, you know, on your plate or may come up along the way. All right. That's all that I'm seeing that. And then once you are able to um, do all the things that, you know, crop up for you, then there's going to be a change of energy. So it's like the, the, the 10 of <laughs> the 10 of stars always reminds me of um, uh, what's the energy drink, the Red Bull, you know, people drinking that so they can, they can have that energy that boosts. Uh, so they can make it through, um, you know, the day or whatever they're set up to do. So um, but also too, I always say that if, you know, the energy is related to the Ten of Wands, if you're feeling overburdened, if you're feeling like you're carrying a heavy load and, and that energy uh, applies to you, then so forth. This is the message that's coming uh, forward. And then notice that it's crossing the five of uh, swords as well. So that might be a link there uh, that, you know, you're having these mental challenges on a minor scale because there's uh, something going on with you that, you know, you need to sort out. Um, either it's involving you personally or it's involving um, other people or it could be just both, you know, you and other people. So you just have to figure it out what is, what's going on. Now the seven of staffs is coming up here following that ten of, uh, ten of staffs. This is my do not fold, do not bend card. All right, so when we have... The um, challenges of the five of swords showing up here, that's decision making, of course, is mental challenges, whatever you decide to do and moving forward, um, Capricorn, this card here is for you to stick to the guns. All right. Do not fold. Do not bend. Do not succumb on the internal pressures of changing your mind and doing something completely different than what you were set out to do originally. And do not let the external, uh, the other people uh persuade you to change your mind and doing something totally different. The reason why I'm saying that Capricorn is because I always get with this seven of wands. I don't care what deck I'm using is that if you don't follow through, okay, what you've come up with in terms of decision making and uh, making moves, then there's a regret here. Okay. You don't want to end up with any types of regrets. Seven of uh, staffs represents, um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Next up is the, your energy, three of coins. This is my uh, collaboration card. This is my um, reward merit card. So maybe three days that someone gets recognized for some sort of work that they've done. This is uh, working with a group of people, could be working with a group of people. Uh, it's related uh, twofold here. It could be um, working together well with others in the workplace environment or there's something else that's going on and you're working with one or two other people uh, and it's outside of the workplace environment. Now, that does not mean that it has to be, uh, you know, anything related to co-workers. That could be your family. That could be, uh, you know, your family and you're working on a project with your family, but you're on the same page trying to work on the same goals to achieve the, you know, the same benefits. OK, this could still mean that someone is working extra hours, extra, yeah, extra hours to receive extra money. It could be part time work. It could be just working extra hours on your current job. Uh, this could be uh, in the form of collaboration, handshaking or an agreement. Uh, thank you. Pat on the back. A job well done. You get recognized for something. Um Capricorn, this could still be a small pay raise. This could be a small bonus. So that's representing your energy and uh, Taurus and Virgo. Now we have the devil. The devil I'm going to read in the upright because that is your energy and it was in the upright for a previous sign. So, you know, I have a tendency to uh, in between recording these videos, uh, switching these cards up and not knowing which direction that I'm, I'm putting them back in. The devil is about um, restrictions or feeling restricted or feeling bound to a situation, person or event. Also, it's about having to 
uh, address any types of bad habits that you may have or, you know, relationships that you may have. Um, it is about, you know, definitely about addiction. So there could be drug abuse, smoking, drinking, gambling, uh, sex is my ruminating uh, thought card where the same thought comes to you and it's like a gerbil on the wheel and never gets off that wheel and, <laughs> and you never <laughs> seem to shake the thought. Uh, it's, um, you know, like I said, my unrequited love card, too much energy going into the energy of another person and you're not getting the reciprocity back. Not saying it's you, Capricorn. It could be that someone else is interested in you a lot more than you're interested in them. OK, that could be extended out to friendships as well. Uh, I would keep the limitations where it comes to family, but it also could be, you know, uh, the romantic um, space as well. So just know that that's what the devil is. The devil is trying to create some sort of illusion for you. And, you know, you have to see situations for what they are and deal with the people for what they present to you or not what you want uh, otherwise, because that's the whole devil's farce. OK, when it comes to drug abuse. Uh, trying to achieve or any types of uh, addictions, drug abuse, drinking, smoking, is trying to achieve that initial high or the initial effect that you got uh, from the very beginning. So if there is any situations going on where you're feeling like you're tied or you're feeling like you're restricted, uh, it's underneath the five of swords. So that might be the presentation of those challenges. Try to, you know, slowly but surely figure out what is going on that's making you feel like the devil's energy and you know it has nothing you know going on or has nothing to do with anybody else and it might just be you know your own energy just figure it out like i said the five of our swords is small scale but the link here to the uh, devil card is in, important there's some sort of link here all right and it's it's possibly creating some sort of uh, mental challenges for you so anyway uh what's coming up after the five, I mean, I'm sorry, the devil is the five of pentacles. That too was in the upright position. Uh, so this is concerns and worries over money. This is a, usually indicative of a loss, but it also could be, um, you know, uh, Capricorns given to charity or someone who is, um, you know, less fortunate than you are. So, but it all depends on what you are, um, if it is you and what you identify with, if you're just being scrupulous about your income and your finances and not doing anything frugal with your finances and, you know, unnecessary spending is what I'm trying to say. And just spending money on things that, you know, is not beneficial or helpful um, and moving forward. All right. So but whatever that energy is and it's connected to you, this is what's coming up. Worry or concerns about finances or the loss of some sort of finances. All right, so the savings grace for you, though, Capricorn, is the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. This is in the upright. This is the good luck, good fortune card. This is, um, you know, indicative of in, any Capricorns who play the lottery or gamble. Just make sure, look, look it mirrors the devil, gambling. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> any addictions, it could be gambling. So look, and right in the middle is the Five of Pentacles. So be careful. Be careful, even though this is a very positive card. I'm looking at the links here, all right? I pay attention to the cards that, you know, follow each other and then what's significant um, in terms of mirrors and then what's in between the mirror. So the five of coins is in the mirror, uh, in the middle, and then the wheel of fortune comes in, even though this is still a strong positive card here. The aspect of the wheel of fortune is, uh, for some of you, maybe... Uh, it could be, it could be, let me throw this in here. It could be that if there was any worries or concerns about your finances, then that will of fortune, uh, there's a stroke of luck. There's something that turns in your favor. Notice that if this uh, will of fortune came before um, the five of pentacles, then I would have, well, definitely there's a loss and then you can expect a greater loss because your luck has ran out. All right. So I'm looking at these cards and I'm giving you the energy of what I feel. But this is almost uh, beneficial for you because it follows that five of pentacles and it is a major arcana being at the right place at the right time. This is my fate and destiny card. So all things are possible. But I do feel that this is a significant link or a message for someone who is either uh, someone who is frugal or addicted to gambling uh, and I always say, if you are gambling, you know, gamble responsibly uh, outside of that connection. There is still the possibility of large winnings. 
excuse me, but I wouldn't bet the farm. So be careful. And then there's a stroke of luck where something might turn around in your favor or it could be linked to the fine um, five of Pentacles where someone's financial situation turns around for the better as well. All right. So the last card that I have is the Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups is in the reverse position. All right. So the Knight of Cups is showing up here and this is about. Um, well, you know, the Knights in general are people who you can depend on and rely on for the support. Now, normally the cups represents love and emotion. So that could be the support of, um, you know, receiving love and, and, and support from someone that's very close and significant uh, to you. That could be family, could be your child. It could be uh, your romantic partner. It could be your friend. Knight of Cups, however, in the reverse position is that either the energy uh, is in, in the expression of someone that you're dealing with and they're feeling some type of way or someone is not there to support you in an emotional manner. This could represent, uh, I'm sorry, if I said knight, it's the king, the king of cups. I'm sorry, I did say knight. This is the king of cups and, you know, he's the father of all love and nurturing and caring, supportive. So I feel that because it's elder, uh, it could be that there is some Capricorns who... Um, if it is regarding their parents or their parent, one parent is, they're not giving emotional support. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Capricorn is not getting some sort of emotional support from an, uh, an elder, whether it's the grandparent, whether it's the parent, um, because I feel that it is, um, something that's personally going on with their energy and it has nothing to do with you. Or there's something else going on with a link to uh, a, a parent of a Capricorn. And then there's an addiction uh, type of energy associated with that. Because this King of Cups mirrors this devil. Hmm. All right, so I don't want to feed into it too much. But if this uh, energy is linked to uh, the messages that are linked to you, Capricorn, this is what's... Um, this is what I'm being shown. All right. So um, really, it's not a bad week. You might have a little bit of challenges to deal with uh, based on the five of swords as your opening energy. But you have the favor of the will of fortune. Uh, and even the devil is, is I don't the devil is the devil. OK, but I just feel that the devil shows up here uh, because there might be some sort of problems going on that either uh, need to be addressed or have not been addressed uh, to this point. But it's placing some sort of impact or placing some sort of emphasis on your life or the people who are in your life that are connected to you. All right. And I do feel because this is a court card. Uh, this could also represent female, that there's something going on here. There's a link here uh, between the King of Cups and the uh, devil. OK, that could be also. Um, that could be breaking the chains of the uh, dependency or codependency. Now, it may not be a parent, but it's a relationship. And see, the devil is about restriction, feeling bound. That would be the codependency of a relationship. Just these uh, uh, energies right here. Okay. So Capricorn, this is what I have for you. Whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, do it safely. You know, I always encourage that safety. And um, please stay strong, stay safe, and also stay positive as hell. Um, you know, because we are going to get through this uh, situation, sending you out quite a bit of lo uh, love and light your way until I talk to you again. Be well.